Today we're going to create this timeline year animation in DaVinci Resolve and then I'm going to show you how I do the same thing in about 10 seconds. And at the very end of this video, I have a special surprise for you guys, so stick around. Let's jump into Fusion. In Fusion, drag in the background node and connect it to the media out. Select the background node and let's change the color to yellow. So I actually have the Ferrari yellow here, so I'm going to use that. So if you want to follow along using these exact same assets, the download links in the description. The next thing we're going to add is a polygon. Drag it on top and connect it to the background node. Let's just draw a straight line on the screen. Doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. We're going to straighten it out just now. Increase the border width a little bit. Let's select this insert and modify this little mouse button up here. Select both points so you can click on the first one, hold in control, click on the last one and we want to publish these points. So under publish this little drop down here just select publish points or you can press shift and P for a shortcut. So these two points are now published point zero and point one. We're going to use this to straighten out this line but before we do that under right click here for shape animation uncheck the keyframe so on point zero we're going to put this on zero and then on the y-axis put this on 0 0.5 now this is exactly in the middle of the screen and on point one we're going to put this on 0 0.2 and on the y-axis we can put this on 0 0.5 so now this line is exactly straight i'm just going to uncheck the show view controls and under border style put this on flat so that when we animate it doesn't make any dots to animate this timeline go to frame zero on length add a keyframe and on frame 40 we're going to add a keyframe go back to zero and pull this down and then open the spline window select all the keyframes and S on your keyboard to smooth it out a little bit we can also stylize this too now we're going to add another merge node add it on top here and we're going to add another background connected to this merge node and put this color on white add an ellipse node connected to the background uncheck this solid box increase the border width a little bit select the width and add an expression and connect it to the height and change the height to around about 0.04 i'm just going to decrease the border width a little bit and then move this off to this side uncheck the show view control so i can see what i'm doing and now when our line comes in at frame 30 we want to animate this circle add a keyframe on height and then on frame 50 around about there we're going to add another keyframe go back to frame 30 and then pull this down open the spline window select the circle zoom to fit select your keyframes S on your keyboard and we can also stylize this to drag this last part out right now we're going to add a polygon node a line node and then connect it to the ellipse as well now we want to create three points right so from this circle we're going to create our first point and then go straight up and then to the side we're going to create another point now we want to increase our border width again and then uncheck this show view controls and put this border style on flat as well and now we want to or well, let's don't uncheck the show view controls let's select all three points and then publish them as well so we've got three points here and now we're going to change these parameters as well point zero is going to be 0 0.221 so 0 0.53 uh, 0 0.7 let's say 0 0.67 this is going to be 0 0.67 and then this will be also 0 0.221 let's say 0 0.3 and then this is going to be 0 0.221 so this just straightens out this edge so we got this nice edge oh yes and also remember to uncheck the keyframe for shape animation otherwise it's going to make a couple of keyframes every time we move something around on our timeline we don't want that we're going to animate this quickly on frame 40 just as the circle comes in we want to animate this line so on length add a keyframe on frame 40 and then maybe on frame 70 we're going to add another keyframe and then go to frame 40 pull this down open our spline window select this S on your keyboard and we can also drag this last part out to make it a little bit better okay so the next thing is add another ellipse node on top of this polygon connected to that polygon now we're going to do the same thing going to uncheck the solid box 
increase the border width a little bit and then we want to connect the width and a height add an expression and then connect the width to the height and then use the center to move this up so 0.667 this will be the middle of this line i'm just going to move it in a little bit more and then we can use the cap style just check this on flat so when we animate in it doesn't make a dot when you use this cap style rounded it makes a dot on frame 70 we're going to add a keyframe on length and then on frame 100 maybe we'll just pull this up let's change the position so that the circle looks like it comes out from the line and now open the spline window select everything s on your keyboard and drag this last part out again let's drag in another merge node connect it on the main line and then we want to add our let's add our first image and drag it connected to that merge below this open your select tool and search for transform so let's select the one without the xf in brackets and now we can change the zoom around we can zoom out a little bit and then actually flip it around position it almost like inside the circle below this we're going to add another transform and then connect a polygon to that node selecting that transform go to settings and select multiply by mask select the polygon and then we're going to draw a quick mask draw a mask around the circle and then around this side select all the keyframes and on top here you can smooth them out or or press shift and s to smooth them out a little bit and then we're going to zoom in and go around to soften these corners under soft edge we can increase the soft edge a little bit and the, decrease the border width now we need to animate this car so selecting this merge around about frame 80 selecting the transform one we're going to add a keyframe on position x and then let's say on frame 110 we're going to add another keyframe go back to frame 80 and then pull this out of the frame see this goes up to minus 0.5 but you can still see the wheel of the car minus 0.8 open the spline window selecting transform one zoom everything to fit and select all your keyframes s on your keyboard and we can drag this last keyframe out to create this beautiful nice animation so let's add another merge node add the text connected to the merge node now we're going to create a slider for the year so we can quickly animate that instead of using an expression go to text right click edit controls and then type in the name of your slider i'm going to call it year it's a number we're going to put this on the text page the default should be can be on zero it doesn't matter and check this integer box and then range from zero to 2026 it's going to be a slider control and that's about it so now this year slider will appear at the very bottom of the text page now it's easy from here we're going to right click in this text box select expression and connect this to the year slider what's the year of this car it's uh, 1950 so we're going to change this year from here to 1950 and now we can move this to wherever we want just going to go under layout go back to text change the size a little bit and back to layout again and then put it there on frame 50 we're going to add a keyframe on the year slider and then on frame 90 we're going to add another keyframe there go back to frame 50 and pull this down to zero and then open the spline window select everything and then just smooth this out a little bit and then drag this last part out at the start we want this zero to not be there so let's go to frame 48 under shading add a keyframe on opacity and then go to frame 53 add another keyframe go back to 48 and pull this down so we've got this nice fade in effect that's our animation that's the first part right if you can duplicate this whole section copy and paste and then call this part one and you can call this part two so you can literally add this in just repeat the process you can do this multiple times how many times you want and create your whole animation timeline like that this is the part of the video where i'm going to show you how i build this exact same animation in 10 seconds let's go this preset is called 
time frame. So I'm going to drag the time frame on top here. Then I'm going to drag it out. There I've got some settings here. This is amazing. This is the global part controls where you can move part one around, you can move part two around, anywhere you want for that matter, and it's connected to the main timeline. Now we've got a timeline color, we can change the color. I'm just gonna change this. We can enable or disable part two. So if I disable part two, it will turn the second part off. And there's a global animation time. This is how fast the animation plays or how slow. If you go up to part one, you can insert your image, go to browse and then just just insert my car, flip it around, change the size. It's already masked out and then just rotate this car a little bit. Go to text. The year is 1950. I can also under prefix and suffix add the name of the car. Ferrari 125F1. Add that in and then just move this name on top of the car. And that's it. That's literally part one done. So part two is going to be the next car. So I'm going to drag that in again, increase the size. You see the nose is cut off by the mask. So what I can do is enable the fusion overlay here, increase that mask a little bit. The year of this car is 1961. Type in 1961, prefix and suffix. I'm going to add the name of the car and then just move this around to this side. I want to move part two a little bit closer. The next thing is just to duplicate this. I'm going to hold in Alt and drag another instance of this timeline on top of it. And then I'm going to go to settings and just position this off to the side. So where I want the next one to come in. I'm going to go back to the time frame settings and under timeline, move this X up. So it just touches that circle right there. Now I can move part one and two up a little bit further. Port one, port two should come in right about here. Maybe port one can come in here. And then go to port one again and change to the next car. Change the rotate, size it up. The year, 1975, 312T. And then go to port two and then the next car move it around, change the year again. This is 2004 and perfect. I just created four timeline animations. You can build out a lot of time frame animations and create some interesting creative stuff. It saves so much time. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with by using this preset. So if you watched until now, I have a special surprise for you guys. The first five people that comment the word time frame will get this preset for free. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to create next. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.